Thanks everybody for GG's and the easies. Set at my table. Okay, so this break. might be bears again. It would be nice to show us beat this on 2 0 again like we did before. Let's let's try. Let's see what we can do. This is risky because it might pull renew at this point. We don't have operator. We do have monster nest to find this. By the way, we just started playing with five silvers again. I don't know. It's kind of this deck thing. I think this deck just runs five silvers now. It's just how it is. We also don't have shadow, so we have to be careful mulliganing this. The marching order isn't particularly good. We can find Slizer with it now, so I guess we can kick a Slizer. Okay. We can work with this. We can work with this. Okay guys, GG, yeah I understood it man. But still, I thought it was funny to if I would pronounce it the way you wrote it. Five silvers is the way to go? We're, we're building a new meta again. Like everybody's busy playing spies and we just play five silvers. Like I just, yesterday we were thinking about putting in runestone instead of black blood and we took out the black blood but didn't put in the runestone and now we just run 5 silvers. No wolfsbane, pleb. Everyone coping swim, but we are just ourselves and we beat everything. We beat most of them. Get em, okay, so it's this, pretty much the same bear deck. I don't know if it ran all good as well, but we 2 owed it. I really want to do it again now that there's actually people in here. Let's actually not play from Shadow, because this is going to slow down the Vran too much. We are the world. He could deny some stuff here. What is that? Coral? Keep together! Oof, ouch. Okay, take a chill pill with eating Neckers now. We need to slow him down a bit. Like, it's like driving a car. This is the engine, and like playing stuff in between is the brake, and the Neckers are the gas pedal. The time for blathering is past! And you have to control Come your Vran to not eat Neckers too fast, but also not too slow. Because you, want, because you want to get all of the ones you put in the deck with the Warriors to come out. It's a really fun game of balancing. I really enjoy it. I think it's fun. So now we have to wait until this gets eaten. Meaning we don't really actually have anything to play here. Um, we can Barbagazi and eat this though. That's a good thing to play now because we have to wait for the next tick so we can find uh, Necker Warrior on Slizard. I'm gonna start with Necker Warrior combo because if you don't have a Necker on board. Uh, wait, you mean instead of playing the Vran first? I mean, you want to get Vran going as soon as possible. Uh, this is fine, it slows down one more turn, which is annoying. Okay, so what I should have done there is play safe and use the Barbagazi to eat this. Because now we still can't find the next Necker Warrior, and that's bad. However, we can still do it. We can slice it into Barbagazi and eat this by hand. That slows us down. 
And then we can only find one more slicer to find one more Necker Warrior, but it's the best play we got here, I think. Waiting for this takes too long. And of course we can't hit Barbagazi because we didn't put him in Graveyard. This is what happens when you're dumb. So now we pretty much have to high roll to, to find Avalak. I'm so dumb sometimes. You can Queen, that's a play. I also could have gone for Queen. I can still go for Queen. Mm. I don't know, we are ahead by a lot. I mean, he has Coral, right? That doesn't matter. So now we can finally find the Necker Warrior, which we should have done ages ago. Also we're two cards down because of spy stuff. And now he's just not going to give the Necker Warrior to us. That's fine though. I can't swim so I got my dex from Repelmer, feels good man, that does feel very good. You can boost Queen, yeah I think that's what he was trying to deny then. Um, and now we need to find... I think this is actually the best kick. Like yes, it can swing for a huge amount of tempo, but he say he has card advantage and he always has coral or scorch or something. I needed to find Vran there, but now we have the guaranteed Avalak. So maybe I still find Vran. And to increase the chance of finding Vran, I have to take the top Necker out of my deck, which will be the highest in strength. So this one. Okay, so we just restored so we can Sir, get the 8 point. This is usually our target for a uh, caretaker. We don't really have a way to kill that though, so this round is not gonna happen. Okay, so now there is a question. Do we go for Avalak first or do we copy this first? I think we go for Avalak first. So it's gonna have to be like this. Naivety and an Avalak in front of the Necker. Appearances can be deceiving. And we don't find a Vran. Shit. Thanks. We we can we you're welcome. Bravo. We can eat well done. Avalak with this Got guy the and then renew him and try to find Vran uh. again. <clears throat> Like he says thanks now, he might we might mill him again. We serve her who is burden, mother and crone. I mean his bear temp was pretty cool, but we should find a Vran now. We really should. And now we should go at the end. 
Appearances can be there seen. we go. Okay, so we still have Operator left in the back, which is kind of worrying. Okay, this may seem strange. You guys have to trust me on this one. Like, we want to grow the necklace as big as we can before we consume it. We play this first, and then we find the last friend in the, de uh, in the deck with Slyzert, and we put him in front of the necker. Marching orders pulls operator. It does not. It pulls the last Slyzert. We have one more Slyzert, right? I run three slicers. There's only one in graveyard, and one is over here. I think it still pulls a uh, slicer. So now we play this, and we play it at the end because it's strongest to go around rain. And then we hit this. And then we find Vran. And then we have this in case he denies the necker with Coral. The courage to fight the Valkyrs, eh? So that will look something like this. We could go for one more of those, but that's too risky at this point, right? Like, we're playing around Coral here, correct? Bow before modern Freya. This is gonna get insane value if he can't counter it. And we're gonna caretaker this round. We're not gonna go for the 8 point there. We wanted to owe him. We have to sit on this though, because if he corals this, we lose all our tempo potential. We have to sit on this. Welcome is slightly over the point. Shit, I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Like, after I show a deck, I always forget to properly align it again. Thanks for pointing it out. Sorry, very unprofessional. I really want to go for that last Necker Warrior, but I, I don't dare to. Like, we thinned him through his entire deck. He always has Coral in hand, right? Okay, so if we play this and we hit this guy, he actually has to coral this, right? And then I can still Barbagazi via Slicer to eat one more Necker. Right. This would be the, the point for coral, this turn or the next turn. Screw it, right? Watch this bullshit. Get to Odon. 
How does he stop this? You've talked enough. That's close, but not enough, right? That was our last necker already though. I forgot about that. We didn't use the last necker warrior. Usually I have two more neckers at this point. How many more of those does he have? He has the potential to have two more in hand. If he plays it on this, that goes for 18 and 5. Goes for 23. But I don't have more Neckers. He can take it in 2. And our top deck is the last Necker Warrior. If he has two, he wins. Might have been premature for you, yeah. To war! I could have done that aggressive Necker placement if I had two more Neckers left in the deck. And he takes it in one here? Wait, how did I miscalculate that? What did I do wrong? I forgot about Rain? 23, 18 and 5? 23? Did I just mess up? How did that go wrong? I mean, this is the highest amount of points for- I just lost! God damn it! He took it without rain as well by one? I just suck at math? Does he still have coral? I mean, this is Big Bear again. I should have gone for the 2-0 there. I mean, if I wasn't going to- if I was going to let it go to round 3, I should have kept Caretaker as well, so I could have denied Despair. Ugh. Okay, he has at least one more Warcryer. It's always bigger than the Grave Hag. Calm yourselves. That's Coral or another Warcryer. Both are bigger than this. gonna make a misplay highlight video for YouTube now? I would, if I could run Sony Vegas on my computer. It crashed lately and I can't reinstall it anymore. It's Olaf. We were playing around Coral that entire time and she wasn't even there. Feels bad. I've said this a million times now, but again, if you want to see the deck like go on the streak four games in a row, it's going to be on YouTube this weekend. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I uh, I have to refill my water, my water, and uh, I've been looking at my uh, my Twitch statistics, and if those are correct, most of my viewers are actually from Poland, and um. You know, I, I started doing this thing yesterday, uh, when I go to refill my water and get a snack and stuff, I play you guys some music while I'm gone, and uh, seeing that most of my, my viewers are supposed to be Polish, um, let me see if I can find you guys a nice song to listen to while I uh, refill my water. Uh, this might be a bit too loaded for some of you Polish people out there. Um, but for people who don't know it, it might be an interesting song. So, uh, without further ado... I'll be right back.
did I time that perfectly? Feels good, man. So now that we're all uh, culturally enriched again, and in the Polish mindset of Gwent, let's get back into this. Oh no, we lost Quasi? Feels bad, man. If you're still in there, uh, nice for you to stop by, and uh, hope to see you again. Six silver cards or no? You guys can see this, right? This is what we've been running with all night. I mean, it's been going well. I mean, if we put something back in, like... <sighs> Beyond River, thanks for the follow, man. Also, I think I missed the Divine Lead, 1337. Also, thank you for the follow. The Frost, I think I mentioned already. Should have all of them. It looks so wrong, though. Yes, it looks very wrong. But, like, we never mill ourselves, right? Why would we run for 26 cards? Is a silver really going to improve this? Like, what will we get? The Black Blood gets a Necrophage. We can get a Baya, which can do rain, which helps in long rounds. We can also find something that completely bricks us, or we find a second Mourn. That's why we put it in, right? We wanted to find the second Mourn Heart with uh, Black Blood. Do we put it back? 